So far we learned how to factorize with the help of middle term splitting. Now we are going to factorize quadratic polynomial first of all then cubic with the help of factor theorem right we learn about the factor theorem what is the factor theorem we know already if you substitute the number into the polynomial you are going to get zero then it is a factor if you don't get zero then it is not the factor right so first of all let's start for the quadratic then we will move for the cubic polynomial first of all let's take an example which is x square minus 5x plus 6. Now we can get the factors of this polynomial with the help of middle term splitting though we are going to do with the help of factor theorem. Very important concept learn properly. So for that here again we are going to start with the constant. So what is the constant in this case that is 6. Now we need to take factors of constant. So factors of 6. We need to take factors of 6. So factors of 6 are 1, 2, then 3 and finally 6. There are 4 factors of 6. 1, 2, 3 and 6 itself. Remember there is a way to write it. First always 1 is going to come then number itself you just need to write between them right very easy to do now you need to take positive and negative value of each of them let's say one we will take plus or minus one then plus or minus two then plus or minus three and plus or minus six remember First of all, we need to get the factors and before the factors, you need to put plus or minus sign. That's it. Very simple to do, right? Now, why are we doing this? What we are going to do basically, we are going to substitute x is equal to 1 into this polynomial and we are going to check, are we getting 0? Then it is the factor. If we are not getting the 0, we will move on to the next number, right? So first of all, let's take this as fx. This is a kind of trial and error method. You need to try 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 2 are 8 times. Now let's hope key before, before you move on to the last number, you get the factors. It's like trial and error method. Let's start. So first of all, we'll start with x is equal to 1. Now plus or minus 1 means what? You need to take plus 1 as well as minus 1. So we will start with the 1. So let's write here f1 this calculations you can do very quickly right as the numbers are small initially so 1 square that is 1 minus 5 ones are 5 and plus 6 here you are going to get minus 4 plus 6 so answer is 2 that is not equal to 0 simple so is x is equal to 1 is the factor no it's not the factor now let's move on to the next one which is x is equal to minus 1 x is equal to minus 1 so here f minus 1 minus 1 square that is positive 1 then minus 5 into minus 1 plus 6 now see over here 1 minus minus plus 5 plus 6 so if you add them up you are going to get 12 that is not equal to 0 done so x is equal to 1 is not a factor and x is equal to minus 1 is also not a factor of this polynomial. Let's move on to the next one. So now let's take x. This we have checked it not working x is equal to 2. Let's start with x is equal to 2. So x is equal to 2. We are going to find f2 here 2 square minus 5 into 2 plus 6. So here we have 4 minus 10 plus 6. Here I think we can get as minus 6 plus 6 is equal to 0. Yes. So x is equal to 2 is the factor of this polynomial. First factor we get it. Now how many factors are you going to get for this polynomial? See remember see the powers first of all x raised to 2 right 
so at least you should be getting two factors kind of remember that so x is equal to 2 let's move on to the next one which is x is equal to minus 2 let's try for x is equal to minus 2 so x is equal to minus 2 let's write here f minus 2 so here minus 2 square minus 5 into minus 2 plus 6 here it is 4 plus 10 plus 6 is equal to 20 is equal to not 0 so this cannot be the factor of this given polynomial which is x square minus 5x plus 6 now let's move on to the last i think last to second that is plus 3 so x is equal to 3 let's start f3 is equal to 3 square minus 5 into 3 plus 6 here 9 minus 15 plus 6 here minus 6 plus 6 is equal to 0 yes x is equal to 3 is the factor of this polynomial so we got the two factors right we are not going to get more than two right so these are the two factors or you can say as well that these are the two zeros zeros means what if you substitute that number into the polynomial you should be getting answer zero see we are getting zero over here right we are getting zero over here let's write f3 is equal to zero right so there are two zeros based on zero we are going to find the factors so how to write the factors first we have first we have x is equal to 2 so let's write here x is equal to 2 and here x is equal to 3 shift that okay shift it so it will become x minus 2 is equal to 0 and x minus 3 is equal to 0 now multiply if we multiply them we are going to get x minus 2 and x minus 3 so these are the two factors of this polynomial x square minus 5x plus 6 let's recall what we did first of all you have the polynomial first of all decide that is it quadratic polynomial or cubic polynomial the reason behind that you are supposed to count the zeros as this is the quadratic polynomial we are going to get two zeros right this is x is equal to 2 and x is equal to 3 we got in this case okay so come to the constant again in this matter factor write all the factors of the 6 then take the plus or minus means positive of that and the negative as well understand the meaning of this plus or minus plus 1 also you are supposed to take and minus 1 also you are supposed to take one by one substitute the values and see what value are you getting for the polynomial most important thing about this is you should be getting zero when you get zero this is the sign that you are going to get your factors remember you need to be very careful with these calculations because you are you will be doing many calculation any mistake and you won't be able to redo all of them so x is equal to 2 we put we get zero so this is the zero of this polynomial one is being done out of two one is done we need to get second as well keep trying let's say somewhere you get x is equal to 3 and you get 0 as the answer so there are two zeros of this polynomial which is x is equal to 2 and x is equal to 3 shift that side so you will get in the form of factors so there are there are two factors of this polynomial which is x minus 2 and x minus 3 now let's discuss how to find the factors of the cubic polynomial